our last headline is the uh, the fiftieth anniversary. I, I was actually surprised you, you chose this one pleasantly. Um, that uh, a story from K two News in Oregon that was aired fifty years ago had its anniversary. It's it's one of the most infamous segments in local news history. I never heard about it before, Me neither. but it was a segment. Um, where they reported live from from a beach in Oregon where a massive whale was exploded with dynamite. So, like this whale, this whale beached itself, died. So huge, yeah. It was dead on arrival, whale. basically, yeah. And they're like, they were like, "What do we do? Do we drag it back into the ocean? Do we cut it up?" And they were like, "No, we're just going to put dynamite in it." And tell me, describe it to me, because I did not watch the video, but I've, I've heard about it. Well, let's, let's listen to just like a, a, an introductory clip, which helps set it up. It had been so long since a whale had washed up in Lane County, nobody could remember how to get rid of one. In selecting its battle plan, the highway division decided the carcass couldn't be buried because it might soon be uncovered. It couldn't be cut up and then buried because nobody wanted to cut it up, and it couldn't be burned. <laughs> so dynamite it was, some 20 cases or a half ton of it. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wanted to cut it up. We got to cut up this. Uh, we got to cut up this whale. Nope. What do you? Uh, no one. No, I'm not doing it. What about dynamite? Yes. I donate 50 cases of dynamite it's to this. It's so fucking big, though. It's the big. Uh, you, you have it's to. Huge. It's on YouTube. You know, you guys can find it's it. Huge. Is it's that like, the only clip we have, or do we have a clip of? It? Um, no. I mean the. So that that's the the warning, and you can see sort of you can listen to the newscaster as as it's going on. It, it, you can tell they begin to like wonder whether this this was a good idea, and the, the, expo- whether it's the a good explosion idea is to, whether it's a good idea to blow this up, or whether it's a good idea to be standing near it with a camera as I'll, if it's I'll, like as if yeah. it's like the county fair. <laughs> all, all of the above. Let, okay. Let's listen to the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my And that's the sound of just raining whale parts. Our camera stopped rolling immediately after the blast. The humor of the entire situation suddenly gave way to a run for survival as huge chunks of whale were <laughs> fell everywhere. <laughs> I love the humor of the situation. The humor of blowing up a whale corpse suddenly evaporated. We had to run for our lives. No one predicted. No one brought an umbrella. Where did they think it was going to go? I don't know. Like, I wish, you know, we were, we had to be muted while we listened to that. But like the explosion itself to me is the funniest part. It's so funny. Just watching this whale just go fucking everywhere. And then, and there's ladies and they're like, oh, oh my gosh. (laughs) And then, and then like, Pretty quickly, within 10 seconds, gigantic whale parts start falling everywhere. There is a, a car like a quarter mile <laughs> That got smashed. Away, where it, that it totally smashed their windshield, like <laughs> ruined the entire car. And it was like half a mile away. And everyone just started like running for their lives. <laughs> I love the idea of someone being like, you know, someone talked them into this. Someone was like, you know, I could do it with dynamite. If you guys want to buy half a ton of dynamite, I can get rid of this. Thing. It'll be just like wash your hands of this thing. I bet he lit the fuse and then walked away, being like, "Well, that's it for that." And then, of course, no, you just made a million little whales that are everywhere yeah. now. And and they left like half the whale was still there. It didn't mm-hmm. work very well. They thought that it would blow it out to sea, and that sea that seagulls would start, you know, kind of take care of it. Um, but the seagulls all just fucking left because they got scared of the, the yeah. dynamite. And it smelled, apparently it just smelled like absolute shit after, after they did it. And like the whole town smelled. The, the end of the report is, uh, is really funny too. We should listen to that. That's the last one. It might be concluded that should a whale ever wash ashore in Lane County again, those in charge will not only remember what to do, they'll certainly remember what not to do. <laughs> you know someone was like if they had just used more dynamite <laughs> next time uh, you know, next time you listen listen to me guys hand grenades oh, oh, maybe everyone just gets there and shoots the whale <laughs> a bunch of times until it's gone the saddest part that. was like that. the guy who they asked him before they're like you know do you think you're gonna it, that there'll be any work to do after it's like we hope not we think this will be a one day sh- you know, one day thing, and then they just show him afterwards, and they're the ones all just like trying to scoop up the the remaining whale, like at the at the very end. It's a sad, it's a sad moment. 
I, I think it's just funny that they remembered the 50th anniversary. They must talk about this in that town every day. That they've been like, <laughs> like, it's the 49th anniversary of this, and they just, they've just they been psyched about this, about this uh, 50th. So uh, happy anniversary, uh, Exploded Whale. Is there any chance it might be more than a one-day job? Uh, if there's any large chunks left. Well, he declined to be interviewed for this story, but in his official written report back in 1970, he declared the operation a success, more or less, which helps to explain what happened to his career six months later. He got promoted. <laughs>